Hey guys, welcome back to this week's plan with me. This week is 4th of July week, so of course I had to pull out all of my 4th of July stickers. The first sheet here is from Lexi Kylie Designs. It's a very large sampler sheet. I got this from Nikki's Planet, and I'm so happy because I didn't make any um, 4th of July kits. All I had was my little 4th of July little freebie that went along with everybody's June order. So I also pulled out Crazy Confetti's set as well. This was her July set. It's more of a nautical type theme, but she also has like fireworks and stuff on there as well. So I think that these two um, will pair well together. And then of course I had to pull out all of my staple stickers. So the stickers that I use every single week. So my YouTube stickers, some video stickers, and then the wacky holiday stickers from Design Pandemonium. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is put down my bottom borders. Crazy Confetti has these awesome borders. They have fireworks all across the bottom here. I absolutely love them. I really find that putting down the borders first really helps to inspire the way I want to plan for the rest of the week. And this was definitely no exception. Um, and then I also saw that there's these like really long, thin dividers. I think that these could be used for like the horizontal layout as well as um, separating your weekend so I'm gonna do that for my weekend you guys know that Monday and Tuesday is usually my weekend because those are the days off that I get from work so I like to consider it my weekend anyways oh I love how that little divider turned out super cute so this year Everybody from our job actually gets off on the 4th of July because we celebrate Christmas on the 4th of July. I know it sounds silly, but I am a server and during Christmas time it is crazy crazy busy in our restaurant so we don't get any time off during Christmas um, so we have designated 4th of July as our Christmas party day and it is so much fun we all get together barbecue have a little potluck and play games it is a ton of fun so I'd love to hear what you guys are doing today if you have any plans if you're outside at the pool or just hanging at home with your friends and family let me know down below um, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing in celebration for today. Now I'm just putting down all of my full boxes. I usually put them in the middle or at the bottom and actually I think that this might be the first time that I've ever put them up top so I really wanted to give that a try. I decided to put them all the way across up top and now I'm just really deciding where I want to put the stickers down. So her stickers are glossy stickers. They are not removable but if you do put them down like you just saw um, you can slowly pull it up with out hurting um, the sticker or the paper so as long as you do it pretty relatively soon after you place it down otherwise it actually is pretty permanent so then I'm just gonna put down the rest of the full boxes I love this cute little lobster one so adorable and then I'll probably hold on to the last one for the thankful thought and then I'm just going to put down my weekend banner down on Monday and Tuesday. You can see it is super sticky. And actually, I thought that her stickers um, said that they are removable, but they really did not feel like it. Um, every time I placed it down, it really stuck to the paper pretty well. So um, this might be an old sticker sheet of hers. I'm not quite sure, but I absolutely love her paper. Just flipping over the planner so I can start working on my plans each day. So so of course the first thing on Monday is my YouTube video early in the morning. I'm also putting a little cute little banner to separate the half box and the YouTube video. Um, I had so much trouble with planning on Monday because I just had so many fun decorative stickers that I wanted to put them all just on the floor. So you can see I keep pulling things up to try and put as much as I can down on the fourth here. Um, and I love using all of these firework stickers. So adorable. And now I'm just riding in um, the barbecue party. And then I almost forgot. Oh my gosh, it is my sister's birthday on the fourth as well. I don't know how I could forget that. And then there was these adorable balloons on the Lexi Kylie sampler. So I'm just using that. Um, it is kind of small and I'm separating it so that I can write barbecue barbecue 
on the other side. Um, and then I was going to put down the um, to-do sticker here and the check flag, but then I realized I'm not going to be doing anything except having fun on Monday, so there's no need for a checklist. So I just grabbed some large washi strips, and then in case there are a couple things that I need to get done, like bring stuff to the party, I just put in a small little checklist, and then I'm just decorating the rest of the day with as many fun 4th of July stickers that I can put down. Now Tuesday is actually going to be super busy because it is my only day off of work this week so I'm definitely going to be at home working my little butt off so I'm putting down a large washi sticker here and then there's this adorable laptop that I thought would be cute to designate work from home and you can see I um, am trying to get this sticker up again I feel like it is removable it doesn't really take any of the color off on the other side maybe it's it's just that they're thinner stickers but I do really love her paper um, so that is a cute little laptop to have from work from home and then you can see here I pulled this payday up and that one seemed to come up really nice and easily on the regular planner paper so yeah maybe putting it on top of stickers is the hard part so I'm um, now I'm moving on to Wednesday putting another little checklist down and then a blank header just to keep it pretty cohesive. Um, Wednesday I may actually have a video for you guys. I usually only have three videos a week but I do have a ton of videos that I need to put up this week so um, I'm also going to make sure that I call my mom on Wednesday as well um, and then I'm putting the last full box in the thankful thought area and then I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple for the um, left hand side. I think I'm just going to put down a to-do flag and call it good and really just write in things that I need to get done this week. Like I said, I'm going to be super busy, so I think I'm just going to need a whole space to check things off as I go. I'm just going to flip the planner over and start working on Thursday. So I'm going to put down my to-do header. I'm also going to use another little cute checklist. I loved her checklist. These were super cute, really nice, and 4th of July themed. Um, and then, of course, my YouTube video for Thursday. We'll see if I can pull this off. I usually struggle with trying to get three videos up. So if I can do four, I think that that will be a fun thing to do. So um, I also need to get to the post office before I head to work on Thursday and then I'm putting down another cute little banner oh my gosh I love those banners and then on Friday I'm putting down another little to-do list I decided to switch them up this week so they're not completely um, all the way across on one um, level and I thought that that turned out all right um, I also have a credit card due on Friday and then I'm just gonna put down an extra half box I'm not quite sure what else I need to get done on Friday yet and then I saw there was a ton of stars on the sampler so I'm just going to use those as like designating um, something else that I need to get done for Friday and then of course my decluttering video for Saturday. I think that this week I'm going to be decluttering my extra linens. I don't really have a ton of linens. I'll probably do um, towels and things like that as well and maybe some um, extra dishcloths and all any type of linen. Um, and then I'm going to put down another little to-do box for Saturday as well. I usually have a bunch of errands that I need to get done on Saturday before I go to work, but I'm not quite sure what I need to get done this week. So I'm just putting down um, some extra little uh, washi strips. I guess these are the headers, but they're the blank headers. So I'm just using them as washi strips to create a little bit of um, background for the rounded half box that I have here. And then on Sunday, I'm going to use one of Crazy Confetti's to-do stickers because there weren't any more from the Lexi Kylie design sheet. Um, that one, I believe, only came with five. And then I'm going to put down the Lazy Day sticker. I love that sticker. It's super cute. Sunday, I usually try and just have a me day, although, you know, me day can be working on Etsy because I absolutely love working on my Etsy store. I'm also trying to pull up my Instagram sticker here because I am um, decided not to put that on top of the cute little flag box. So I'm just putting down like a divider again um, to put down my 
little Instagram sticker. I do try and post a picture of the end of the week every Sunday. So if you guys want to see how this completely fills up, follow me on Instagram. And then I'm also putting a plan sticker down because I tend to sit down and plan um, Sundays to plan for the rest of the week. Just write down the things that I need to get done for the week and it really helps with my plan with me to have it written down um, so I can see ahead of time. So I think that that's about all I can plan for now. It definitely does fill up, so follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see the end of the week. I do have a ton more decorative stickers. I will definitely use these once I fill in the planner. I did forget the Design Pandemonium Wacky Holiday stickers, but I am going to put them on right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!